One of the questions I get uh, quite often through the SaipanLiving.com website is how much does it cost to ship the car from the States to Saipan? And I'll answer that question for you. But a more pertinent question is, should I ship my car from the States to Saipan? And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll share with you the number one reason why you should not. Uh, I did some research just yesterday, drove around to the port, drove around to one of the shipping companies, even spoke to someone at the customs and biosecurity office at the post office. So I got uh, some of the latest information, but you should also do your own follow up and due diligence and searches online for uh, to um, verify some of, uh, of what I'm sharing with you. First is. They only ship, the shipping companies only ship from port to port. And the ports that they ship from are on the west coast of, of the United States. This is obviously for people relocating from the US. And the ports are Los Angeles and Tacoma, Washington and Oakland, California. So if you are living anywhere else, you're going to have to get your car to the west coast on your own. I'm sure the shipping companies may have uh, companies they can recommend. You can drive it yourself. You can hire people on the internet, uh, uh, probably on Craigslist to drive it for you, what, whatever, but you have to get it to the port. Second thing is it's going to cost you about $3,600. In fact, I got this down to the penny. Uh, one of the major shipping companies here will charge you $3,600 to ship from port to port from a west coast u.s west coast port to saipan and there's also a, a fr uh, that's the freight cost there's also a port cost a port fee of anywhere from 300 to 350 dollars so all in all it's going to cost you 3900 to four thousand uh, dollars to ship uh your car and I had believed there would be an import tax, but from what I was told yesterday, new residents, the import tax on bringing the vehicle in, that's waived for new residents. Someone else told me that uh, you do have six months from the date of importation to actually uh, show that you um, are relocating. So, you know, you can get the details on that on your own. but. Essentially, you will pay no import tax because, uh, because you're a new resident. Um, some of the things you may want to have handy are maybe a letter if you're actually coming here uh, by a job assignment, through a job assignment, then you would get your letter of employment from your employer to prove that you're relocating here. It takes about 19 to 25 days from port to port. That's something to keep in mind as well. And now, the most important thing, should you ship your car here? Of course, there are many reasons why someone might want to. Maybe they are very attached to their car. Maybe they get, it's a special model that doesn't exist anywhere else. Maybe they consider it part of the family, uh, whatever the reason. The most important thing to consider, and this, uh, I was reminded of this by um, my friend Kevin at the Toyota uh, dealership here on Saipan, is that you want to make sure that you get a car or that you have a car in Saipan that's easy to service. Even the most dependable of cars that I always buy, a Toyota Corolla, uh, may have need to have parts replaced. And there are certain cars that are simply not able to be serviced here on Saipan. He told me, Kevin told me an anecdote of um, a company here that invested in a, a Cadillac Escalade and they used it for a few weeks, few months, but then the first time it went down for some reason, they couldn't even get it diagnosed because the uh, machinery for the diagnosis itself does not exist here on Saipan. So that was basically a loss. They just basically had to write that off because they couldn't get it diagnosed, couldn't get, couldn't get it fixed. Um, and you know to get the right part so you want to be sure that you get a car toyotas are popular um, nissans are popular uh, so keep that in mind and you may want to call around to either other residents if you know any or of the dealerships here on saipan to find out what cars are uh, being sold and how serviceable they are so that's the answer 
Uh, yes, you can ship your car here. It costs uh, just under four thousand dollars. But the more important and more pertinent question is: Is it really worth it? You may want to just decide to start fresh, support the local economy, and buy a car that's uh, a vehicle that's easy to maintain in the long run. So hope that's helpful to all of you considering relocating, and I'll see you in the next video.